Hey sweets, welcome back to the Sweet Life Tight. I'm Tight. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you watched my last video, you know um, there's certain things going on that I have to get in order for other things to happen. Um, I just got some. I got stuff in store for freaking Fridays, and so yeah, like yeah. So, but on today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to take you guys with me as i get back on the road with uber eats i haven't been on in like a month so today's like my first day back in like a month or so and it's a friday it's around dinner time so i think i feel i know that i'm gonna make some good money tonight and then i believe uber has a quest this weekend well it had a quest this week for you do 10 trips you get an extra 30 dollars 10 trips is nothing i guarantee i'm gonna get those 30 dollars so, um, yeah, I just want to show y'all what I do on the daily. This wasn't really a requested video, but I was just like, this is what I do all day. Let me show them. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I am already um, online on the app. So, right now, I'm just going to go up the street get out of my neighborhood and go up the street and see if like I'll get an order or something because I haven't got an order. I've been on for about five to ten minutes and I haven't got anything. So I'm just gonna ride up the street from my house. It's a Wendy's, Quick Trail, McDonald's, it's some with some other restaurants up there that's real popular in this area. Um I am in the Gwinnett area. Um I forgot to say that. So I'm in the Gwinnett area and yeah, I'm gonna just ride up the street and see if get in order so let's let's get it let's go <laughs> all right y'all so i kind of know the game like i've been doing this for a minute um so like i thought i just rolled up straight from my house let me run these windows up real quick for y'all so like i like i thought i just rolled up the street not even four minutes of the street and i got it order my first order is at hardy's um it ain't hitting for much just because of how far i'm not far away from it i'm only four minutes away and i guarantee that the drop off is not far either so it's not really hitting for nothing but i can give you guys one tip and this is the best tip and the thing that i will recommend if you ever do this like know your worth you know your car's worth um don't ever go for nothing if you see something that's 20 minutes out and it's only it's less than six well, really, if it's 20 minutes away and it's less than seven, eight, really nine or ten dollars, don't go for it. But if if it's like in the vicinity, it's really close, um, and the miles are low, the best thing to maximize your earnings is to accept every order. But like I said, know your worth. Don't just be going for anything because they will try you, and you be like, like I done had to cancel a couple months because I'm not doing that. Like y'all not giving me enough like i know how to take 40 dollars to fill up my tank so know your car know your worth know your surroundings look at your miles make sure you're checking your miles don't just be accepting because it's gonna it's, it'll ding you like if you accept and cancel it'll ding you not too much it's not like on like on like close your account or nothing but it will ding you and it'll like count towards like your accepting rates and then uber eats has this thing where they have like rewards for drivers and so it'll count towards your satisfactory rate if you're accepting and cancel so make sure you're paying attention to your miles mile, the amount of miles the amount of time and the amount when you're trying to maximize your earnings but make sure you're like you're accepting as many orders as possible like even the three dollar ones like because your thing your um it could say three dollars but you really don't know how much you're gonna get until your customer tips you out so my order is like i think it said 347 but they can tip me five dollars they can tip me ten dollars they can tip me 15 they can tip me 20 i don't i don't got 20 dollars tips i don't got 30 dollars tips so you never know don't knock it just because it looks low because you never know and then um another thing is i deliver in a certain area meaning that i'm not delivering in necessarily low income areas i'm not delivering on the south side i'm not delivering on the east side i'm on the north side i'm in Gwinnett. i'm in midtown i'm in norcross i'm in duluth like so they're tipping out here so if i see a three dollar order and it's only a certain amount of miles away my thought is hmm 
they tipping me. So I'm really getting between eight to fifteen or even nineteen, twenty dollars from this three dollar thing that just popped up. So maximize your earnings, accept as many orders as possible. And yeah, I'm on the way. I'm about to turn on Buford Drive and go ahead and get in line and pick up my first order. I'm here and it's telling me to pick it up in the store, but a lot of the instructions, a lot of the restaurant instructions don't be updated and I don't like getting out like unless short staff closed. Child boo. I wonder why they don't got no line. So um what well, I was gonna say. But even though they closed and I'm gonna have to cancel this and get my money. I'm gonna talk about that whole process. This is so good. Like, this is happening. I get to tell y'all about it. This is stuff that really be happening to me. So, okay. So, sometimes the store directions don't be updated. Like, the Chick fil A's, yeah, they be updated. Like, do what they say. But, like, certain stores, certain restaurants, it don't be updated. I know when I'm in downtown, I do have to, like, find parallel parking and get out. But, certain times, like, if I just don't feel like getting out, I'll try to mile, go to the drive and I'll be like, hi, I'm picking up for And they'll either go for it or they'll be like, oh, you gotta come in. And they'll, like, stay that ground. But, I just came to Hardy's and um I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm gonna go down. I don't know if y'all can see that. Y'all probably oh it says short staff close. So this is real life stuff that be happening. So in this instance, I'm going to go on the app, I'm going to cancel it, but then I'm not just going to cancel it and make it look like I canceled the order. I'm going to contact cu customer support, and I've had to do this before. They're very quick and they're very efficient and they're very helpful, and they don't be trying you. So what I'm going to do is, just because I did have to drive and I did come out my way and I did accept the order and for it not to ding my satisfactory rate, I'm gonna cancel the order, I'm gonna call customer support, and I'm going to let them know. I always get um, proof. One time my tire went flat. I took a picture i sent it so they can verify things that's going on so i'm going to get a picture of this um and so if they ask me like do you have any supporting documents anything like that yeah i'm gonna show them so i'll let y'all know how this go i don't have nothing else to record on so i really can't show y'all like the phone call and how it's gonna go um yeah, I can't show y'all how the phone call is gonna go, but I'm gonna let y'all know. Hey y'all, so I just got off the phone support. They are they are gonna give me my three dollars. Um, yay! So I got that resolved. I'm sorry I didn't get to hear how the call go. They were trying me at first, trying, um, trying to give me automated messages like, oh, just go in there and check this, check that. No, I'm gonna talk to somebody because you don't get nothing done and not talking to nobody. So I talked to somebody. Um, the three dollars will be added to my account. So yay me, but in the midst of that, while I was sitting there on the phone, I did get another order um, for Chick-fil-A. So I just pulled up. I am in a parking spot. So I pulled up curbside. I know this location, um, you pull in and then you go to the door. So I do have to get out, um, got my mask, of course. So I'm about to get out and go get this order. So here we go. I told you I was sitting in the parking um, in the spot. So I'm in the spot. And I'm just gonna get out. Um, I am in Gwinnett, so I do leave my car um, running just because it's just easier for me. Um, certain areas, I definitely don't do this. Like, that's a big no-no. But I'm just gonna run right here. And like I said, I'm in Gwinnett. It ain't nothing but a whole bunch of old white folks. They ain't gonna touch my car, so. Here we go. Oh, they're open. See, it used to be. Oh no, it's still running. It's still running. Hi. So, got my first order, and he's just sitting right there with everything. I don't, and maybe I should, but I don't use the um the insulated bag because I just. I just pick up and go. I know for Chick-fil-A, they actually have like the heated pads that the food be sitting on. So, um, my dropout spot is 60 minutes away. That's not bad. Not for what I for what I'm getting. Um, like I said, I always make sure I check my mileage. Make sure. Well, I know my work when it comes to my car. Um, make sure I'm checking my mileage. It's great to know how like it's great to know your mileage like i said it takes me 40 dollars to fill up so i make sure i'm when i'm looking at miles and compensation that it's always adding up and it's always benefiting me 
and my car um i don't go for nothing strange so like i said i don't have another device this phone will be paid off soon so soon enough um i'll be able to record talk to y'all record show y'all different stuff and i'm getting a camera so this will be much easier as i go along because it's not going to be my only one i'm going to show y'all this is just um something that i'm doing on this side of town but like i mentioned i do deliver midtown different areas so this just went it today um but i'm gonna get back on here and show y'all different different cities because in the city y'all i'll be having fun i see so much stuff in the city so this won't be the only one it'll be much easier but i'll be back i'll show y'all um how i lead a fool on a porch how i sit it if there's a table i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all about that when i get there so i am on the way to my what you call it already has taken me long enough and the train is coming literally i'm pulling up to where i'm about to, you can hear the train like i'm turning around i always turn around um this is right by my house so i'm turning around because who's gonna be These folks in the red, look at them, look at them. They almost hit them. What you looking at? Oh man, yeah, everybody turn around. So am I, so I am on a detour. I'm about, well, I was seven minutes away, so I'm probably gonna be about maybe 10 now, just because of this little detour. I have to go about up about another half a mile and use a different way. This is by my house, so I, know which way I gotta go um to get past that little the little train that wanted to come so my customer is actually standing outside and I don't want to put her on video because people don't like that so but she's out here you're welcome you're welcome um she was out here so sometimes I'm supposed to be out here because corona and they like don't come to my door don't do nothing just I'll be out there so she was out there I ain't get to show y'all like how I would put it um, in place. But I just tell y'all, so if they got a table, I'm gonna put their food on the table. I don't see the point in putting their food on the ground if there's like a table, a bench, a chair. Putting the table in the chair, if there's not, I just prop it up as neatly as possible. I don't ever ring the doorbell. Most people have messages that says like, don't ring the door, they got dogs. They dogs start barking, their kids wake up. I don't know, but most times it's like, don't ring my doorbell, just leave it and then, they'll get a notification that it has been delivered i just made the wrong turn did i i don't know um so yeah first delivery done so we about to get on the road you know once you get that first one out of the way orders just start rolling through so I'll let you know when i get my next one got another order i'm on the way now it is at rb's so yeah um, I think I don't know. I'm, I'm, um, so the restaurant directions do say pick up in store. I'm not in the mood to get out. Um, I'm gonna tell you that right now. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to pull up to the window and I'm gonna try them and see if they go for it. Let's, I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna politely pull up to this window. And, um, hi, I'm picking up an Uber order for Kevin. <laughs> yeah, because I don't feel like getting out. And we're going to see if they're going to tell me to get out or if they're not. Let's see. It usually works unless they really just don't do um, Uber, Uber Eats pickups in the drive line. Like, if they really have, like, a strict like method of how they're picked up and accounted for hi i'm picking up an uber order for kevin thank you <laughs> i don't gotta i don't gotta get out the car um period but not for real if you are delivering and your restaurant says um like uh pick up in store 
I know McDonald's, Captain D's, Chick fil A. Like, it's just certain restaurants that I know. And then, of course, when I'm in the city, I know. But just test the waters. Just test the waters and be like, go there. See, it ain't nothing to just get out of line, park, and go in. But me, I'm going to always see if I can pick up in the jar through song. I got to get out of the car. I don't like getting out of the car. Then I got to uncrate my car. Then I got to crank my car. Then I got to do this. I got to do that. Like, hmm. So, picking up. Um, when I was picking, so when I was just getting the food, um, the girl was like, let them know we ran out of jalapeno bites. So, I messaged them. Hopefully, I don't get no, it ain't too much drama behind that. Most people just be like, okay, I'll, I'll handle it in the app. Some people are buttholes and like, going off. I don't know, but I let them know, so we'll see. Which way am I supposed to go? Oh, this gate broke. Okay, um, so I just, um, I just got one that's inside of a, of a apartment complex, and so I just wanted to like get on here and um, just talk to y'all real quick and let y'all know like, don't be like antsy. Cause at first I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go in the apartment. Like, where's the gate go? Blah, 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 blah. Like, they're gonna always provide you with everything you need. If they don't, it's just a simple call away. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I had to accept the order. <laughs> I had to accept the order. But, yeah, like, if... This is a lot of buildings. Let me turn around and go back the other way because I'm going the wrong way. Um, but, yeah, don't ever be like, or if any of y'all was wondering, like, as far as car, car uh, apartment complexes and getting in and gate codes, uh, it, they have a description um thing where they'll provide you with all the information you need to be able to get it in and get to their building all the way down to the door number so i am in the apartment complex right now um between trying to vlog and switching back and forth between my between my directions um i made a wrong turn so i'm just finding a bit i'm going to building five um and what are you doing mr man you see me coming and want to pull out um, going to build a bad thing. She, 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 she in the cut. Um, but yeah. And like I said, I just accepted another order. It's actually at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. So I'm going to give me some food while I'm there. Yes, because I was just on the phone with Brandon telling her I wanted some Tropical Smoothie Cafe. I'm trying to stay away from that double juicy crab and I ate it twice in a row. So I am at building five. I just made it so good five. I'm gonna show y'all how I leave it at the door depending on what they got. So I did uncrack my car just cause I gotta go up steps and I can't like just look and see what's going on with it. So I did uncrank it. And going up, let see the left side. I told y'all to run out of how to feel about it. So I told him he responded saying he wanted fries. But I was already gone. So always get a picture. Right, so, so I have a double order, meaning that I have two people to pick up for and I'm about to get me a smoothie. I'm not too hungry and I don't like eating and driving. So I'm about to get me a smoothie and pick up these two orders. Can I get a um mango berry cosmos? With um, fat burner, keep make sure it's not too thick or not too um, and not too watery. Mm -hmm. And then I'm picking up for it's an Uber order for Dejan weekend. Okay. Mm. So I am gonna take this to the car just because I ordered. I actually ordered my own. And I don't want to drop anything. I'm trying to carry my own. I'm trying to carry three other smoothies. I'm going to take this to the car. Yeah. I don't even want to talk about it right now. Y'all, I made a mess. <laughs> I just had to pick up five smoothies. I almost left two. Got one for myself. And I made a mess. But she was so sweet. Mm. 
This junk is so good. Let me get my edible straw. This junk is so good, but I made a mess in there. I'm so embarrassed. This is not my first time though. Like, I done dropped one on the floor before. All right. Well, it happens. They say. I'm kind of nervous about this. Sitting in my car though. Cause they leaning. I gotta take my time driving. I'm gonna spill my car. <coughs> okay y'all, so I dropped off the first half of that order. I'm on the way to drop off the second half. Like, it's five smokers in my car. I try to send me to see. As soon as I'm getting out, one of them tried to spill. I catch it. I had to get my wet wipes and wipe it down. I was dripping on my clothes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but everything good. I ain't complaining. Making my money. So, I'm about to go drop these other two smoothies out. Am I? Girl. I need her name because the way she made my smoothie. Smoothie done spilled in my car. Mind y'all. Just cleaned my car out yesterday. But, haha. <laughs> bought a car wash membership. I'm going tomorrow. Like. Alright, y'all. So, I just lied out for today. Um, it was a smooth little. I didn't even do Like, I used to be going for hours. I, I, I'm going to get back on here and show y'all a full day in the city. But, it's just my first little day. And, um, yeah. But I just got a phone call. I got to go take care of something. So I had to cut it short. I thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I have some big things coming for my channel. Some things. I have some changes that's going to be made. Good changes. Nothing bad. So, yeah. I will see you guys back on my next video. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.